Hey everyone, this is Andrew Hess and this is my SharePoint questions. So today I'm going to go over how I make my galleries look great, almost Excel or SharePoint like. Uh, this might be a short video, but that's okay. I'm going to give you more of your time back. But let's get into it. Please like, subscribe, and I'll show you how I create my galleries. So this is the same gallery from my last video. I'll, I'll probably put my last video in the description. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this arrow. So this is just a basic gallery, right? So it comes in with a picture. I, I removed the picture from the vertical. Normally I, I click on the vertical selection here and then I remove the picture. So I'm going to remove this arrow. And I'm going to slide this over. I'm going to make it kind of like SharePoint Excel. Now this is going to be the title field, right? We want to give it a good bit of space so we can read the whole thing. And then I'm going to make it smaller and so it matches up perfectly. Now you may think this is nothing, but I promise you, once once you see this, you're going to be like, oh, this looks so much better. I'm going to move it uh, to the vertical line. So vertical line, I'm going to move it to the middle up here. And then for the text alignment, I'm going to center it. And on this one, I'm going to keep it to the left on the title. And so now I'm going to add a couple of labels. Oh, but I'm going to add them on the outside of the gallery. So the label will come up here to the top. And I'm going to say this is title. And then I'm going to give it a little color in the background. And I feel like I feel like the artist on Bob Ross right now. And just a little tree here. And this tree can't be alone. <laughs> so I'm going to add another label. So I'm just going to copy paste. That way it keeps the same height and everything. And this will be the date. And we'll center it. All right, so these are my columns in SharePoint. We have my tasks, due date, actual time, and resource. And if you notice in SharePoint, when you hover over things, it highlights. So we're going to pretty much mimic that in, in Power Apps. And if you notice that the icons that you can select are right after the title, let's do the same thing. And this is actually due date. So the more that we can mimic how Microsoft does their UI, the more people are going to be comfortable in your own Power Apps, right? If you create a Power App and the UI, the UX is how you design it, people are going to have to learn that through their Power Apps. And maybe they'll learn it through many Power Apps, but the more we can mimic what Microsoft does, I think the better because it's going to lower the learning curve that people have when they use your Power App. All right, so this is where more comes in. So I want to make this look more like Excel. And in an Excel table, you can highlight each of the columns, uh, you know, white, then another color, then white, then another color, kind of noticing that contrast. So for due date, I'm going to come to the fill, so the fill property of the label. And I'm going to change it to, let's go um, 250. So 255 is white. We got that down. 255 with a 1 changes it to a little bit of a blue maybe we'll lower this down to 240 240 a little bit so we can kind of uh, I don't like how it contrasts like that so what I'm gonna do is for my title field I'm going to make this blue a little bit darker All right, so I wanted to add some contrast in there. And then, so you could really like make like a template behind the scenes if you wanted to. But for this example, I'm more just showing you what I like to do. So what's gonna happen is if we come to our form and we change the template fill to the if, if is selected option, which I've done in many videos, you'll notice that it doesn't really pop right. On these columns where we change the label, the gray does not come through on our selected. So I'm actually gonna do something different. And this is a little trick that I've done. Now what I'm gonna do is on this first gallery 
item here, I'm going to insert a button. And this button is going to take up the entire space. Right? So the button's going to take up the entire space. And now what we're going to do is for the fill of the button, we're going to change it to transparent. So I'm going to change this one to a zero and I'm going to remove the text. So now when we highlight a selection, you can see that it's actually highlighting with the hover. And for the button, I'm going to remove the radius. So the radius, the border radius, do it over here on the right, the border radius, I'm going to change to zero. All right, now we have our button that's uh, hidden behind our entire space here, right? So the trick is, is to go to the hover fill and you see this fourth number here? This fourth number is actually how transparent the color is when it's hovered. So we're gonna change the transparency. You know, most of the time I either do zero or one. So zero is completely transparent or one is completely filled in. I'm gonna change it to 0.2. So the transparency is now only 20%. So when we hover over, you can see the highlight takes over the entire area. In this gallery, I'm gonna add an icon and it's gonna be the pencil tool. So the pencil tool is going to edit our line item for us, right? So in the pencil tool, we'll the first thing we're going to do is reset the form, a form one. So this is going to put us back into the selected mode in case someone clicked on new task. So this resets it back to selected. And then we're going to navigate to screen one with a fade. So this pencil tool, if we select it and we click on one, you'll notice it brings up our last value. The pencil tool brings up the last value. Now we have a new task button here. We can change the colors. But this is really what I like doing with my galleries, is I like making them look like SharePoint. Um, a lot of people are comfortable in SharePoint. Microsoft has probably done way more studying on UX and UI than I have. And why make your Power App confusing? Just make your Power App and, and learn from how other people do it. So this is how I've been designing my galleries most of the time in Power Apps. I could do this pretty quickly. Um, and so I realized this was a short video, but here in America we have the Super Bowl. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Um, I'm going to have to get ready for that. And so I hope you guys appreciate this video. It was really quick, but check out this gallery. To me, that just looks beautiful and mimics the way SharePoint looks. People can come in, they can select the button, they can click the edit tool. Oh, another thing we can do is instead of just editing there, we can actually have edit on the button click. So there is a button there, if you remember, we can just change that to edit. So when we select on it, you know, we can edit straight from there. Or we can click on the pencil tool. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. This was really quick. This is just how I design my galleries uh, in Power Apps. I'll see you next time.